The American Mustang, wild and free. This majestic animal has roamed the West for centuries. Today, it has no real predators, and herds grow large and fast, causing many horses to die of starvation out on the range. In response to this trend, the Bureau of Land Management corrals many of these horses and auctions them off for as little as $200 apiece. While some would say you can't tame a wild Mustang, Bobby Kerr respectfully disagrees. Bobby has trained horses for over 40 years and for a time believed Mustangs were no good as riding steeds until he saw how fast they could be turned from wild to mild. I'd never been around Mustangs, thought they were wild, hairy little ponies, you know, worthless basically is the impression I had in my head. Anyhow, we went and watched it in 2010 and I was blown away at how nice some of the horses were and how uh, trainable they were what a good job them fellers had done. After that, Bobby was hooked. He adopted BLM horses straight from the wild and began training them to compete in the extreme Mustang makeover competition, where you only have four months to turn a reckless wild horse into a show-ready stallion. It worked so well that he now does it pretty much full time, traveling for nine months out of the year training horses for his own acts at state fairs and rodeos. Just this last weekend, he performed with a couple of his once wild steeds at the Ute Stampede Rodeo in Juab County, Utah, where he showed off how well these Mustangs tame and shared his insights into how anyone can turn a wild horse into a reliable ride. I find once you bond with them, once they bond with you, let their guard down, let that survival instinct kind of go to the side. And, you know, I kind of figure that they're used to having a running buddy. You know, we've taken that away. And if you can get them to let their guard down and look at you as you're running, as their running buddy, it's clear sailing. His travels have taken him all across the country with these horses. And Bobby will be performing in California much of the rest of the year, while also advocating for horse adoption. Currently, the BLM has over 50,000 excess horses waiting for homes. And as Bobby has proven, they can be show ready in just four months. By all accounts, these are some smart horses. Plus, it doesn't take an expert to tame one of these stunning creatures. I've seen people that are pretty amateur at horsemanship spend the time and, and make pretty nice horses out of these Mustangs too, you know. Um, but at the same time, you got to kind of know what you're doing. And the BLM has set guidelines as to, you know, the type of pen and shelter and everything you got to have. You know, you just can't have a little five-strand wire fence. You got to have a six-foot tall corral and a shelter and, you know, but it's very doable. The Mustang will always represent wild freedom in the West. But maybe, thanks to men like Bobby Kerr, they'll also start to be seen as horses you can live with. From the Trailhead, I'm Andy White. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? So you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.